Now, 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 I know what you're thinking. Numbnuts, why would you make a video like this when we're almost towards March? And the reason is, I really didn't know what games I was excited for last year and in the previous months. But now that I did think about it, I gave it some thought, watched some trailers, and here are the games I'm excited for in 2017. Ghost Recon Wildlands. I'm so excited to play this next Ubisoft game because I want to play with my friends and run around the Hispanic jungles. Wait, what? You're telling me it's it's not fun? It's repetitive? Oh. Okay. Um but the next one Star Citizen. Okay, who really knows when this game's gonna come out? Alright, seriously. This game, Star Trek Bridge Crew, it's awkward because I don't have a VR headset right now. But, but as much as I wish I did, I'm actually excited to see the content that's coming out for this game. Um, like, you know, just this, on the YouTube side, I'm excited what videos are, really com are going to come out with this game and the hilarious and funny moments that will result in it. Mass Effect Andromeda. Boy, do you look at that trailer. Look how he's shooting away and zipping and zapping and moving side to side and flying and what, whatnot. I actually bought the trilogy last summer and I cannot wait to finish it so I can be immersed in this world because boy do they make the world look gorgeous. And if you're thinking about picking up this game, pick it up because I heard that um, you don't really need to play the previous Mass Effects to play this game. So, you know, if you don't feel like playing the last three, pick this one up because it looks like they're pretty confident in this one. And I think that's a good sign. Yo, ukulele. When was the last time you saw a nice, good looking platformer like this? It's just something about it is just very nostalgic. And I heard it was the same developers from Banjo Kazooie and all that stuff. So, I mean, why not throw in a silly game of the year, you know? I'm just excited to see and have fun and just a nice, chill, laid back game. So, check out Ukulele. Look forward to that. All right, when I saw this game at E3, I was just thinking, whoa, the aesthetics. I grew up watching the hell out of Tom and Jerry, and this this reminds me exactly of it. Plus, it's co-op. I mean, come on, fam. Who doesn't like co-op? Just you and your friend, just in this type of uh, aesthetics. Come on. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. Check it out. Near Automata, or Automata, however you want to say it. Now, I haven't played any Bayonetta games in the past, but I am willing to try new things, and I feel like this would be one of those new things of 2017 that I will enjoy. I will bet that I will enjoy uh, something like this. Hopefully, I can get my hands on it because, you know, we broke the broke. Check out Near Automata. So, I don't know exactly when this game comes out. Who knows if it'll come out this year or next year, but I hope that this does become one of the sleeper indie hits, or at least on the indie side. And it just looks like an indie version of For Honor, and I think that is dope, you know, being all Bruce Lee up in here. And I just want to whoop some ass, martial arts style. What can I say less, you know? Check out Absolver. Now, the biggest game. The one that I think will take it home for me is South Park The Fractured Butthole. Now this may seem comical and silly and all that, but when I watched the E3 trailer, Matt Stone and Trey Parker just took it home. They literally saved the Ubisoft conference from itself. And I'm just hoping that this will be a fun game. I mean, I know it'll be a fun game. I played a little bit of the last one and I still need to finish it. but. Who doesn't like South Park? Come on. 
So those were my games that I'm excited for. It took me a bit of time to think it over and I finally got there. But if you want to watch some more, I did do a quick analysis of this indie game called Pony Island. It is not a game about ponies. Do not let the title fool you. If you want some more content, go ahead and check that out because it is not a game is what it seems and it messes with your mind. At least it did for me. So that's it. Deuces.